Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So, believe it or not, some of these are pulling to a close, but they got some obstacles in their way of closing. As an example, that one, if the gas tank wasn't leaking, um, would be more or less done. It needs, it would need an oil change um, and just to get put back together again, right? It's all ready to go. But given that it has a gas tank leak, I gotta pull the gas tank off, which means pulling all the plastic off, which takes up a lot of space. And then I, I got to figure out how to patch up the gas tank. It's already got cream, uh, K-R-E-A-M. I think that's how, how you spell the brand name of sealant it's got in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put red coat on top of that. And hopefully it seals up the holes and takes care of things. But that one's about done. This one, it's more or less just a matter of putting it all back together again. And I need to decide which ignition system I'm putting on it. And then this one's done. So so with that, I've been trying to figure out what to do for another um, project. And uh, I, I do watch a lot of videos. I, I do comb quite a through through quite a few channels. Um, and I ran it, and I, I've known about a guy, Lonnie, also known as Puppet Kicker, <laughs> the poor puppets. And he, uh, he's putting together a video where he's taking one of these um, China quads, and he's basically extending it, getting rid of the back suspension, and he's putting a bed on it. Now, we've watched Musty One's um, videos. Uh, where he stretched out that four-wheel drive Suzuki and put a bed on it, a dump bed on it. And um, obviously that's very cool. I watched all that stuff back when he was making it and then again when he just restored it. And uh, Lonnie, uh, Puppet Kicker, also mentioned a um, another person who has done this. So after watching his video, I said, you know... I got a few of these China quads floating around that are, um, I mean, I kind of get them running as a uh, mental exercise, as something to do, as, you know, kind of a hobby. But generally speaking, why would I want to ride that thing when I could ride my TRX 300 or my 400EX or when I get my... 250X running or 300EX running, I could ride those, or I could ride a 200S. Why would I want to ride one of these things? So, after watching his video with the stretch with the stretch on it, I said to myself, you know what, that's, that's like a really cool idea. And once again, he gives credit to the other people he got some of the ideas from. Um, and I can mention Musty One because I, I watched his videos, but I didn't watch the other other person that he mentioned um, but anyway I'm looking at this and I'm thinking yeah I extend this out put a regular tractor seat on it I could sit there fairly comfortably he's talking about keeping the uh, the foot shifter there for me I would um, I would put the uh, the old Harley alongside the gas tank shift lever and probably put a skull up on it and as I extend, it, extend this out, he's setting his up with a dump bed. But I, I really don't, don't need a dump bed. I was thinking of keeping the whole thing narrower and going with an old wheelbarrow um, bed or box or barrel, <laughs> whatever you call the metal part of a wheelbarrow. The barrel part of the wheelbarrow. Let's go with that. So yeah, I just I just brought this over. So I was I was looking at that and I said, boy, you know, if I stretch this out and put this on the back, if I'm um, picking up, get, given that I think that one's 125 cc's, it's not going to be the strongest thing in the world. Um, I'm thinking to myself, if I put this in the back, I can put over a day's worth of firewood on that they worth of burning on firewood um, it'll be fairly narrow um, it'll be rounded in the back it's already the beds already made I don't plan on putting a dump on it because normally 
Um, well, quite honestly, I have the Cushman dumper or I have other dumping carts. I have a backhoe loader that picks up things and dumps. So I really don't need it to dump. It would just be handy to be able to throw tools in the back, chainsaw, all that kind of stuff, go out in the woods. And quite honestly, this is, this is useless for anything uh, but that. Um, and the reason why I'm specifically looking at this one is because this frame is a little better made. I mean, things, things like this make it a, a little stronger. Um, it's got grease fittings on the joints, uh, things like that. So, anyway, yeah, I was, I was looking at that. I wanted to give um, Puppet Kicker and Musty One and whoever Puppet Kicker watched to, to get the idea. Um, a shout out because it is a good idea um, then rather than having some of these china quads you know I get them running and then they kind of sit around because I'm not being mean not being mean but who the heck wants to ride them <laughs> though I, I must admit my uh, my uh, $50 one from uh, that I got from the scrapyard. For some reason, this thing just amuses the heck out of me. When I when I drive it around, I I just kind of crack up. It's just um, it's got a forward and reverse on a lever. I don't know. It's the spider spider one. Um, somebody somebody rode the heck out of it too. And completely destroyed the uh, the front end that's that's probably why I got into the scrapyard you just look at the front end and that they probably they probably crashed it quite honestly um, somebody probably I mean those are the OEM tires you can see how they you know virtually have no wear on them uh, this was a 2015 and it was already you know it sat around somebody's house for a while then it went to the scrapyard so um, yeah, this is this is quite the piece piece of junk, <laughs> but I don't know. It amuses me, and I enjoy riding it. So, there you go. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess kind of a new project just crossing into the uh, into the thought process. The other thing, obviously, I'm working on the snowblower. I think you guys saw that it was taken apart, and I really need to kind of get going. On some kind of uh, plow situation you know for those days when you only have an inch or two of snow um, or even a major snowblower situation I think that's a two-stage yeah that's a two-stage so imagine cleaning this thing up I think it's 40 inches across imagine setting that up put a big engine here have it um, have it moved around by the uh, by, by the quad, the 4x4 four four quad, but basically have it on wheels for the front of it. Um, and uh, it, that, that, would, that would be a nice toy to have. This is the nice thing about having a hoard of stuff. Um, this is, as you walk around, you could kind of look and get ideas about what you want to do, what, uh, what you want to make. And then uh, occasionally, you know, trading for something else. I considered stretching out this guy also. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, so do me a favor. Go check out Musty One. Go check out the puppet kicker and after you read his links you could go check out the other people who stretched one of those those quads and don't forget my buddy Mike at Hillbilly Homestead you want to go watch some of his videos and you want to subscribe we got to get him up over a thousand as quickly as possible all right everyone please remember to keep your feet down keep your heads up and please remember to get out there and enjoy each and every day don't let any time get by you once it's gone, it's gone. So get out and have fun. Uh, if you like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. 
And, uh, and if you don't, uh, please let me know why. Bye now.